Hello everyone, I am gonna go over advanced tuning on the Sidewinder 7B. The most important thing I guess I'll go over is everybody's asking how do you adjust the stroke on here. Um, here in, I think, um, August of 2020, I started putting little marks on the side plate and then also an impact timing mark on the frame. I did this by the time I started putting the adjustable impact screw in rather than just having this quick set impact pin. Now this impact pin, what it does is there's different notches. It's like a hexagon, but every hex, every flat on the hexagon is at a different height. And so when you turn it, I turn it clockwise, it's going to drop that flat down to a lower position. And it also makes less impact. Okay. Well, this also makes the stroke length longer um, because as you can see, the impact screw on the armature bar, it's kind of like, um, um, it's kind of like a hat in a way. And so the top, there's this little shoulder in there that's actually touching the stroke spring. So it's controlling the stroke and it's hitting on this impact pin down here. So when you lower, to go to a lower mark on the impact pin, it's gonna make the stroke a little bit longer. It's not dramatic, but it's, it's enough. If you really wanna fine tune your machine, you can definitely play with that. That's not really what I intended it for. I feel the stroke where I set it is, is pretty perfect. But um, so also, before we talk about that, we're gonna talk about your impact timing mark. Right now, it's maybe a little, see like the line, you see the little line on the cam and it's a little bit lower than the line that's the little timing mark on the side plate. I hope you can see right there. Um, it's running pretty well, especially at six volts. It's running okay there. Let's back it off one more notch. So I'm gonna go over. And at 4.9, five volts, it's just a little a little weak. And I'm, I kind of run my thumb across there barely and you can kind of hear it stammer a little. That's when you know you need more impact. But say I just want a longer stroke, I would turn it over to there. I'm gonna loosen up the side locking screw there. And I'm gonna turn in the impact screw. I'm gonna, if so if you're turning this to the right, you know, your pin, it's gonna give it less impact. But then I'm gonna reset the impact with here. So I'm gonna turn this to the right. So for every notch, you pretty much turn this a half turn. So half turn, it's probably gonna be about perfect impact now. Well, it's a little much. So let's back that off quarter quarter turn. Five volts. And that's six volts. So the important thing here that you want to make sure of is that you keep your amps. See that as that 0.39 amps? Or no, it's 0.15. When I put a load on it, 0.39 amps. That's where this motor wants to be is at 0.39 amps or lower. So the volts aren't as important as the amps. Now, if I want the shorter stroke, it's these marks on the other side. The line on the very bottom is actually the same as the line on the very top. So if I want to immediately go over to the shortest stroke, it is at seven o'clock is the shortest the stroke will be, but it's also the most impact. So you can see where my, my mark is on my cam. It's like way above. So I need to back, I need to back this screw off. So loosen up this guy. And let's just go a full turn first. And I might be right where I need to be, yep. Yeah. So the shortest stroke, I turned my impact all the way in. And it runs pretty fast and zippy and low amp. You can see 0 0.27, 0 0.27 amps when it's at 
six volt, 0.28. So, there I am. Look at those amp, uh, 0.39 at seven volts. And that thing is screaming along. So if you wanna run this really fast, you're gonna want the shorter stroke, or if you want it to hit softer, and do like really fine, delicate stuff, you can still get a nice kind of a sharp hit. It may stutter a little bit. So you may just need to add just a little bit more. And actually, yeah, I am. My timing mark is a little bit low. And you can see. So let's turn this in a, like a quarter turn. And that's a real nice, it's very delicate. I mean, it's, it's crisp. I'm not straining, I'm at six volts. Um, and that's definitely good enough. Like that'd be probably perfect for um, a seven or a nine liner going pretty fast. So I think that kind of covers it for the advanced tuning of this machine. I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching.